In a recent video I demonstrated how this Fryden STW10 mechanical calculator could be used to perform dual multiplication so it could multiply two numbers at the same time. Uh, but I've been asked to expand on why the decimal points were placed where they were. Um, the original video was intended to demonstrate why the machine had multiple um, decimal points. So in this video I'll give a quick rundown as to why the decimal points were placed where they were. So I'll start by giving a, a quick demonstration on a standard calculator. So if we take a normal calculator and if we enter uh, a simple number, so if I say one, two, three, and we'll space it out with three zeros and put one, two, three in there again, multiply it by two, so notice what we've done is we've effectively multiplied two numbers. We've, uh, we've multiplied 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3 by 2. So we've got the two answers, 2, 4, 6 and 2, 4, 6. So even though it's a single number, we've in one way performed two multiplications at the same time. So as I said in the previous video, as long as you divide the number and then you control which columns you're applying any subsequent actions to, you can effectively use a calculator to perform multiple multiplications at the same time. And in fact you can go further than that. If we enter one, two, a couple of zeros, one, two, another couple of zeros and one, two, and multiply that by two, you see we've now got an answer of 24, 24 and 24. So we can do three multiplications at the same time. Unfortunately a calculator like this is not as flexible as the Fryden because what we wanted to do in the previous video was to use it to complete um, a sheet like this, a simple spreadsheet for a bill of materials and we wanted to calculate the line totals and then the grand totals uh, with a minimum amount of work. So in order to do that, what we need to be able to do when we're doing the calculation is to be able to clear part of the number while leaving the other part intact. And obviously you can't really do that on a, a calculator like this. But you can on the Fryden because you can lock one half of the top row of digits. You can also lock the entire bottom row of digits. That's what the two locks do. Uh, and the way we had it set up was to get the cumulative value in the left hand block of numbers and then the line numbers in the right hand block. So that is the grand total down here was appearing in this block and then the line totals were appearing in this block. So what we wanted to do was have this number as a completely separate number from this number and that means that we need to make sure that one half of our results are entirely to the left of this marker. This marker defines the point where this uh, lock ends. So in other words, we're only locking the digits from here upwards. These down here will be cleared with each subsequent calculation. That is why these certain decimal points were selected. If we ignore the decimal places for now, I'll take those away. If we take a number, I'll leave the split on the keyboard so you can see the decimal markers on the keyboard are where they, where they were before. And if we take a number like 222 two, two, and we enter that in both sides, if we want to multiply that by 2, if we entered just 2 into the multiplier and then multiplied, you can see that we have the right answer here, 444, four, four. Um, but the answer over on this side is in the wrong place. It's two decimal places too far to the right. We wanted it over here and obviously um, when we come to clear this side of the keyboard, if we now clear that, you can see it's cleared everything. It hasn't just cleared the bit that we were interested in. So even if we have this lock on, and I repeat that number, so again we've got the right result but it's in the wrong place and if I now try to clear this it's cleared the entire bottom block 
but it's also clear part of our top number. So in other words we need to move this result across two decimal places. So the easiest way to do that is to add two decimal places to either the keyboard value or the multiplier. Now we can't add two decimal places here because we're already at the far left of the keyboard and that's why these three numbers were selected to enter the values rather than further across. So we can't go any further on here so the only way we can move the result across is to add decimal places to the multiplier. So if we do the same calculation again but this time we add two decimal places to the multiplier so two but this time we add two decimal places and then we do the calculation again I put the locks back on notice now that our result is in the correct place so this time when we clear this this, uh, this side it is only clearing the side that we want and leaving this side intact we want two decimal places in these results at least two decimal places because we're talking about um, monetary values so we want the, the pence columns so we take a decimal place and we put it here so our result we entered two pounds twenty two so we want four pounds forty four and we want the same thing over here however because we have two decimal places on the keyboard and two decimal places on the multiplier we actually get four decimal places in this result so as you know when you multiply you add the number of decimal points from the two numbers that you're using as the source numbers so that means that we need to put the decimal marker in the fourth decimal position and then we need another decimal marker on the right in the second decimal position. When we now do the same calculation again, so I'll clear the entire machine, we do the same calculation again but this time we include two decimal places. Then we end up with the result that we expected. We have £4.44 on this side and £4.44 on this side albeit with the extra decimal places that we don't need. And if we do another calculation, if we do the same thing again, but this time multiply by three with two decimal places, what will happen now is this side will be cleared before the multiplication, and this will be a cumulative value. So we've got £6.66 on this side, the grand total here, and of course the bottom was just accumulating the number of uh, values on the multiplier. Okay, so I hope that explains why the decimal places were placed where they were. You can put them wherever you want, they aren't, the whole point is just to make sure that your results end up in the right columns. Uh, and that way you can split this into two or more uh, separate values, which is also why there are even more decimal places available. You can create more columns if you want to. Okay, if any other questions then uh, drop a comment and I'll try to answer them.